Alright, this is me, Vegar, from the Double Random channel, also Double Random Reviews. And behind me is Sander, that is dealing with the camera and the technical stuff. And today we are going to have a look at the Batista RAM for Samsung Galaxy S2. <clears throat> the Batista RAM is it's really fast, and but as you see, it's it's really not that different from from TouchWiz. It's kind of kind of like an upgraded version of TouchWiz. So if you want something that looks like TouchWiz, uh, but a little faster then you should get the Batista round. Let's just take a quadrant no wait wait one second. You can also overclock this <coughs> overclock your Samsung Galaxy S2 to about 1.6 gigahertz each processor with the Batista RAM some you can just overclock to 1.5 gigahertz, but on this you can 1.6 and there we have it overclock with the Tegarock overclock and let's just take a quadrant test mm -hmm. and everything's going real real quick CPU memory IO and don't worry this is it's still 60 frames per second as you see here. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we will put a link for this ROM in the description below, so don't you worry. Everything is going smooth and well. Mm, that's good. You want to proceed? Yes. Here we got the 4250. Well, that's not really that good. It's decent, but the highest I've ever gotten on Batista RAM 1.6 GHz, that's 5020. So that's <laughs> that's pretty amazing. And that's really much. Let's take a look at the LIN pack. Run multi thread. Running. One, one hundred and two, ninety-nine, one hundred eighteen. Yeah, so it's about um one hundred and ten if you're gonna, and it's it's really fast, and you can customize it as well with the RAM. You but get you get Metamorph that allows you to customize and do different stuff. <clears throat> and here you got theme settings, but that's mostly just for the lock screen and JK Glass Lux. Then you have the stock <clears throat> Samsung Galaxy S2 lock screen. But if you take if you take JK AOSP Deluxe, <clears throat> then you will have this, where you have shortcuts here in the radio. And here to your phone, and messaging, music, and the camera, and here unlock. And you also get some live wallpapers, the wallpaper gallery, and over here you get some wallpapers that comes with the ROM. It's really nice wallpapers. I really like this one, but it's really nice wallpapers. Uh, you don't see the pixels. It's really nice done, and it's very, very decent. And overall, this RAM is it's one of your best choices out there for your Samsung Galaxy S2. And for all you gamers out there, don't you worry. You still got your hubs. Music Hub, Game Hub, Reader Hub, Social Hub, everything is still there. You just change the user interface and some other stuff a little. But you can feel that it's faster, everything goes quicker. And <clears throat> as you see, it's go 
3D kind of and it's really nice but if you overclock to 1.6 gigahertz then it will easily get really hot so if you for for instance take 1 gigahertz each processor and performance then it doesn't really affect the speed you can still feel that it's quite fast as you see but you know if you take a if you take a quadrant test you won't get the same the same results but it's still really nice you can't feel the difference but it's still amazingly nice and well that's all we had for the Batista RAM if you want to see more of it or anything else if you want us to look at another RAM without you fudging up your phone then we will do it and just comment in the comment section below leave yeah uh, you can like subscribe and favorite please and please comment that will help us make new and better videos and tools